Just when you think you are up to date on every new scientific discovery out there, more discoveries are made that change everything we once thought we knew. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these recent space discoveries. Scientists spot 10 million light-year-long cosmic bridge In recent news, two galaxy clusters seem to be colliding with each other. The ridge of radio emissions slowly joining the two clusters together is made of radio emissions that are about 10 million light-years long. The two galaxy clusters, named Abel 0399 and Abel 0401, are being studied by researchers using the Low Frequency Array in the Netherlands. The reason for this study is that other observations had spotted the two clusters being joined by a filament. LOFAR is an observatory that is adept at spotting low-frequency radio waves, which makes it the perfect fit for this study. According to the lead author, Federica Govoni, the filament, which is just one part of the enormous web that fills the space between the two galaxies, is what motivated them to want to observe the area further. One of the things that captivated them about the observation was that they had already known that the galaxy clusters were just a couple of the dozens of magnetic fields that scientists had spotted. Scientists are able to observe the synchrotron radiation created by electrons moving extremely fast inside magnetic fields as radio emissions. One of the questions the researchers wanted to answer was if the filament also had a magnetic field. In order to answer this, the team used LOFAR to observe the space in the middle of the galaxy clusters and found the ridge of radio emissions, which the team says proves that the filament is magnetized. According to Gavoni, when we obtained this great image, we were really excited, but of course, we wanted to be sure. In the beginning, we were quite cautious. However, when we decided that what we detected was real, we decided it was really important to show this result. The next question here is if this observation is common in the cosmic web between the galaxies. Researchers might get some help here from the Square Kilometer, a more powerful observatory that scientists hope will become the largest radio telescope in the world. While this discovery, which scientists believe to be the first of its kind, is truly exciting, it will be fascinating how newer, more powerful technology might be able to aid scientists in discovering even more. Explosion tears through Betelgeuse star, leaving scientists confused. The red supergiant in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse has been a frequently studied star by astronomers. In fact, they have been watching the rhythm of its pulse for about 200 years. One of the reasons for this interest is that Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the sky. It usually has a magnitude of about 0.6. Strange behavior from the star in recent years led scientists to believe that the star may be getting ready to explode into a supernova. Adding to mysteries surrounding the star, which lies about 548 light-years away from Earth, is that recently an explosion tore through the star. This explosion, not an explosion into a supernova, left scientists utterly baffled. The explosion is actually even more surprising to them and the star is now recovering from the explosion and apparently bouncing. The team of scientists studying this event has been using the Hubble Space Telescope along with other equipment to observe the star as well as the explosion and its after effects. As mentioned previously, the star is one of the sky's brightest stars. However, in 2019, scientists began to notice changes and believed that it had actually exploded and created a large surface mass ejection, similar to the ones that our own sun throws out. Interestingly though, the ejection from Betelgeuse was about 400 times stronger than the ones from the sun. According to Andrea Dupree of the Centre for Astrophysics, we've never before seen a huge mass ejection of the surface of a star. It's a totally new phenomenon that we can observe directly and resolve surface details with Hubble. We're watching stellar evolution in real time. Scientists believe that ejection may have started deep inside the star and eventually stretched across millions of miles. 
They think it may have later blasted off a piece of the star, which left a cool surface area and dust cloud that made the star appear dimmer. Additionally, the pulsation rate that scientists had been tracking for 200 years has disappeared. Scientists are now struggling to explain this explosion. One piece of technology that may be of use in this endeavor is the James Webb Space Telescope, which may help observe the ejected materials moving away from the star. Dark matter stays hidden as detector fails to see a single particle. At this point, new developments are the name of the game in the world of astronomy. Sometimes, however, the newest development is a lack of any new findings. This is the case when it comes to the 2013 Large Underground Xenon, or LUX experiment. The experiment used the world's most advanced instrument at the time for detecting dark matter, the invisible substance that scientists think makes up the majority of matter in the universe. The LUX detector was located deep underground in order to shield it from cosmic rays that could create signals in the instrument. As an additional shield, the detector is also surrounded by pure deionized water. Despite the strength of the technology, the experiment went three months without finding a single particle. Richard Gatskill, a spokesman for the LUX experiment, stated at the time, We saw nothing. We do not have a single dark matter candidate event. This failure pointed to the disappointing likelihood that the sightings by other experiments were probably false. The LUX results also narrowed down the forms dark matter might take. Dark matter has remained a mystery for scientists for about 80 years, ever since astronomer Fritz Zwicky realized that galaxies must have more matter than scientists could see because of the way that galaxies rotated. In the last eight decades that have followed his observations, they have been confirmed repeatedly. Nowadays, scientists believe that most matter is in fact dark matter, which means that it neither reflects light nor emits it. According to Gatskill, we have entered the new millennium, and yet we still have no idea what 95% of the universe is made of. The amount of dark matter believed to exist in the universe and the difficulty detecting it shows that the universe is an absolute mystery. According to physicist Enrique Araujo, we don't really know what the universe is made of. We understand only a few percent of it. So we are frying the small fish before we are frying the big ones. Without dark matter, we know very little about how the universe really evolved and what its fate is. While the LUX detector was decommissioned in 2016, an even stronger detector has been created, the LUX Zeppelin. This device is about 100 times the sensitivity of the original LUX detector. Hopefully this device, which announced its first results in July of 2022, will be able to detect the elusive dark matter. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.